People queue up to five hours for these cookies in NYC. This is allegedly an exact replica of the recipe. And this starts as like a traditional cookie recipe. So this is one cup of cold butter. To the butter, we're gonna add white sugar and also some brown sugar. I think this is a cup. We need to cream this for nine to 10 minutes, but this is gonna make the foundation to our cookie. And then we can move on to the rest of the ingredients. This is very creamed up, if that's even a word. To this, we're gonna add uh, the baking soda and salt. Apparently, it's really important to add one egg at a time. I'm going to basically get all these sides mixed in because isn't that so strange for cookie dough? Like it's so light. It's almost like cake batter. So this recipe actually uses regular plain flour, but also some cake flour. I'm gonna start with a little bit of the cake flour and a little bit of the regular flour as well. I feel like sometimes you guys need to have the visuals. That's the visuals. So we're using three different types of chocolate chips, dark chocolate and some milk chocolate as well. And this is two cups of chopped walnuts. And this literally looks so strange. The biggest ingredients in this is chocolate chip cookies and walnuts. So now we're just supposed to mix this a little bit. I've got an ice cream scoop and because these cookies are supposed to become so big, we actually can only cook four at a time. So this would be one. So this is the before. Guys, please take a mental image, take a screenshot. I think these look incredible. We're gonna bake this for nine to 12 minutes. So these look really, really similar. It literally melts in your mouth. This is insane. This one looks exactly like the photo. These are probably the best chocolate chip cookies that I've ever made.